yeah, I moved to New York City to become an actor, and um, so I wasn't, uh, you know, when I, I moved from Utah, actually I moved from Imperial Beach, California, I grew up in Utah, I moved from Imperial Beach, California to New York to, uh, to study acting. And of course, when I got to New York, what I wanted people to do was to believe that I was uh, a New Yorker. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I started drinking coffee and smoking cigarettes right. and pretending that I was, um, you know, Marlon Brando or James Dean in uh, one of their favorite movies, one of their best movies. And of course, I wasn't Marlon Brando or James Dean. I was Matthew Modine. And nobody ever believed that I was from New York, which was my goal, was for people to believe that I was from New York. Mm -hmm. So. Um, when I, I met Harold Becker, he said, you know, kid, I think you're uh, a terrific actor, but, I mean, you're so skinny. Do you, can, can you do 10 push-ups? And I was like, can I do 10 push-ups? I can do 12. <laughs> <laughs> and so he gave me the job in the movie, in Vision Quest, but he knew that I had to get in wrestling shape because mm -hmm. there was no way that I was going to pretend be able to be a wrestler that I was going to have to really become a wrestler mm -hmm. and uh, to that end they brought me out about seven weeks before we started filming maybe eight weeks before we started filming and I started working with the great Spokane resident Cash Stone who who just uh, you know beat me up and abused me with the most loving manner I mean he was just a he's 